following is an explanation about the basic periodontal examination, or BPE for short. To do a BPE, we use a WHO probe. This probe that you can see in front of you is the type E probe. Notice the features are 0.5 mm ball at the end of the probe. This is specifically so that you can detect subgingival calculus. Notice the black band, which is from 3.5 mm to 5.5 mm. This will be explained as we go through how to perform a BPE. To perform a BPE, you need to insert the probe into the gingival sulcus, down the long axis of the tooth, with about 20 to 25 grams of pressure. You then walk the probe around the tooth with the same amount of pressure. The BP examination is recorded as codes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. As a reminder, the WHO probe has a black band from 3.5 to 5.5 millimetres. This is used to determine which codes are awarded. If we probe into the gingival sulcus, the whole of the black band is showing, there is no calculus, overhangs, and there is no bleeding after probing, this would be a code zero. Code one is, the whole of the black band is showing, there is no calculus or overhangs, but there is bleeding after probing. Code two is the black band is showing but you have either supra or subgingival calculus and or overhangs. A code 3 you can see that the black band is partially visible. That would mean that there would be a pocket depth of between 3.5 and 5.5 millimetres. A code 4 is when the entire black band disappears and is entirely within the pocket. This indicates a pocket depth of 5.5 millimetres or more. In addition to the scoring of 1, 2, 3 and 4, you may also need to indicate if there's any furcation involvement. For this, you would use a star symbol. The areas would be on the buccal surfaces of molars, lingual surfaces, and buccal surfaces of upper molars. For those patients with BPEs of codes 3 or 4, you need a more detailed periodontal charting. For code 3s, you need to do a six-point pocket chart for that particular sextant. If you find a code 4, it means that you have to do a full mouth pocket chart for the entire dentition. These guidelines are the guidelines of the British Society of Periodontology for the taking of a basic periodontal examination, the BPE. The guidelines are downloadable from the British Society of Periodontology website. That's BS Perio. The guidelines are two simple pages and reiterate largely what we've already been through. Firstly, it tells you how to take and how to record a BPE. This is just the information that we've been through in the first part of this presentation. Secondly, it tells you the story, it's the scoring codes, exactly the same as we've already discussed in the first part of the presentation, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and star, with the relevant information about why each scores as, as it does. Underneath that, it shows you an example BPE score grid and what it might look like when it's chartered. And here you can see 
There are six squares indicating six sextants. From upper right, upper anterior, upper left, lower left, lower anterior, lower right. In the left hand sextants, we have vacation lesions indicated by the stars. And in the lower right, we have a dash, which we haven't met before. And a hyphen or a dash indicates one of two things either that there are no teeth at all in that sextant, or that there is one standing tooth in that sextant. If there is one standing tooth in this sextant, then that standing tooth is incorporated into the score of the adjacent sextant. For the next page, this tells you when to record the BPE. And the key here is to understand that the BPE is a screening tool only. And underneath that, the key, why do we take a BPE in the first place? Well, the BPE indicates the treatment needs for that individual. And depending on the score, that is the highest score, the treatment need is set out here. So for zero, as you might understand, there is no need for periodontal treatment. One means there's oral hygiene instruction, remembering that one is a pocket of up to 3.5 millimeters and bleeding. Two, we have oral hygiene instruction, and if you note, we have oral hygiene instruction on each of these. Oral hygiene instruction, and then we remove the plaque retentive features if present, and then also in remove the supra subgingival calculus that's around. Three indicates a deeper pocket, that's between 3.5 and 5.5 millimeters. So in three, three means we need to do some root surface debridement. A score of four indicates oral hygiene and root surface debridement, but it also means we might need more complex treatment due to the size of these pockets, which are getting quite deep. And a facation lesion indicated by star means oral hygiene instruction, root surface debridement, and again, we may need more complex treatment. That, in effect, is a basic periodontal exam.